Hi friends, it's Sammy here with Blue Feather Homestead. I am standing outside in front of our cucumber trellis. It's absolutely beautiful. I've got pollinators buzzing around my ears. Um, but today we are going to make some fire and ice pickles. Now this is a great way to preserve some of your cucumbers. Um, you're not gonna live off of these pickles, but it's great to have them on hand. We love them and I think that you will too. So let's go inside and get started. All right, these cucumbers have been soaking for five days in my salt water brine. Let me just remove these fermenting weights. I'm just gonna give these a really good rinse because they have been soaking in salt water. Now, not only does that preserve my cucumbers while I'm waiting to make the pickles or whatever I'm gonna use them for, it'll also give them an extra crunch. I have all the salt rinsed off of those cucumbers and now I'm just soaking them in some ice water. I'm gonna weigh them down while I get the rest of my stuff ready to go. The cucumbers have been soaking for probably about three hours in plain filtered ice water. So I'm gonna go ahead and get those uh, drained off and start slicing them up. This recipe calls for about nine to 11 pounds of pickling cucumbers. And, or, okay, that also equals out to about 50 of these. These are about three or four inches uh, pickle, pickling cucumbers. I don't have 50 of these. I probably, I probably have about 25 maybe in here. So I'm probably gonna have some brine left over. We're just gonna go with it and see what happens. Also wanted to show you that I am using um, the thick slicer here. I've shown this on past videos of my slicer. This thing has just been so handy and I think I paid like seven bucks for it years ago. So anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and get these sliced up. Okay, they're cutting about a quarter inch thick. Some of these cucumbers are not playing nicely, so I'm gonna have to cut some of them by hand. No big deal. Let's go ahead and get started with our pickling brine. Um, first things first, you need to use a non-reactive pot, okay? This is a stainless steel pot, and that's what I'm gonna use, but it can't be aluminum. It needs to be either stainless steel or a glass pan would work just fine too. But this recipe calls for eight and three quarter cups of vinegar. It actually calls for white vinegar. Now we're gonna use apple cider vinegar and white vinegar in ours today. Um, if you have white vinegar and that's what you have, you can use that and they'll be perfectly fine. We just prefer apple cider vinegar in our bread and butters. Um, I know that we all wanna use our homemade apple cider vinegar, but not in this recipe, you guys. It needs to be 5% acidic. And we know for a fact that this one is 5% acidic. This is store-bought apple cider vinegar, so we're gonna use that, and then we're gonna use this white vinegar here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's start with the white vinegar here. And now we put in seven cups of sugar. That is a lot of sugar, I know. It makes a lot of pickles. So apparently I deleted this clip in my video as I, as I was editing, I figured this out. I have a little secret to share with you. Um, what I use is Mrs. Wage's Zesty Bread and Butter Pickles. This package it has a, up top before I ripped it, um, had two red peppers and that shows you how much heat there is in this spice mix, okay? This is my secret. All this is is basically all of the ingredients that you would add to your pot all packaged in one envelope here. Um, I found it pretty much impossible to find any in my town, any stores in my town that carried this stuff. So I had to order it on Amazon, which is no big deal. But I wanted to let you know there's, uh, let's see, salt, mustard seed, celery seed, uh, dehydrated vegetables, bell pepper, onion, jalapeno, 
um, citric acid and um, that's about it that's what's in this package so rather than putting all of those spices separately I buy this envelope and it is so handy it all comes in this one package just like that I'm gonna put in the description below the recipe if you don't uh, if you don't have these available to you I'm gonna put the whole recipe in the description below of um, what you add into fire and ice pickles and you know the whole process okay so always be sure to read the description below guys and now we're gonna put in our spices Oh my gosh, it smells so good already. Woohoo! I'm excited. On to the stove it goes. We're just going to want to heat this brine up until the sugars and the spices and everything are dissolved. I'm going to go ahead and start stuffing my jars with the cucumbers, the sliced cucumbers. These have been sitting in the oven on 200 heating up. I've already, these jars were already sterilized. Um, but they've been heating up in the oven at 200 while I was uh, mixing up my vinegar and sugar and things like that. So we're going to go ahead and get these out. You may notice that I really crammed these cucumbers in here, but you'll see once I get this filled up that they kind of shrink up a little bit. So you want to fill them up. Not cram them too tight, but get them in there nice and snug. Once you get your brine in, you're going to run something along the sides of your jars here to uh, release any air bubbles, and that way you'll make sure that your jars will seal. Now your brine, you need to pour your brine in here and leave a half an inch of head space on top. I'm just kind of pressing these down to look at my brine to make sure that I have about a half an inch of head space. I think they look great. Now you're going to have some major sticky rims, okay, from um, the brine being put in these jars. So what I do is just get some vinegar, put on a paper towel, and just wipe these rims off make sure that, that stickiness is gone look at all that coming off the jars I guess I should mention that uh, wiping the stickiness off the jars will ensure a good seal if there's anything on the rim they're not gonna seal they might but we're not gonna take any chances As you put your lids on, you want to do them finger tight, okay? I've got them placed in the water bath canner. There's an inch or two of water above the jars. I'm going to put the lid on. Once it comes to a boil, I'm going to start the timer for 10 minutes. Okay, pints are 10 minutes and quarts are 15 minutes. I did all pints. Setting the timer for 10 minutes. Time is up. I've pulled my rack out and set it up on top here. We let them set for five minutes. Well, I'm pretty sure that they have all sealed. You want to wait about 24 hours before you do open a jar of these and start eating them just to let them mingle. Um, but they will last on your shelf. If they sealed, they'll last on your shelf for about up to a year. If they didn't seal, put them in your fridge and enjoy them right now. 
I hope you enjoyed it, friends. I sure enjoyed having you. If you're new to our channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You guys have a blessed day, and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.